waiting Up all night, up, up all night I'm here to tell you something There ain't another love that is gonna hold you down Welcome back to VL Extras, the corner of YouTube where we geek out over the wildest tech on the planet. We've covered some bizarre robots before, four-legged dog bots, creepy insect crawlers, humanoid helpers, even cars that fly. But Japan's got something new that's next-level bonkers, a robot you can ride like a horse. Meet Kawasaki's Corleo unveiled at Osaka Kansai Expo 2025. Is this the future of off-road adventure, or just a shiny toy for the ultra-rich? Today we're diving into the company behind it, its legendary founder, and why on earth we'd need a robotic steed. Let's saddle up. No pun intended. First, let's talk about Kawasaki, not just the motorcycle kings, but a tech titan with roots going way back. It all started with Shozo Kawasaki, born in 1837 in Kagoshima, Japan. This guy wasn't handed success. He was a small-town tradesman with big dreams. At 27, he tried his luck running a cargo ship in Osaka, but a storm sank it, along with his plans. Most people would have called it quits, but Shozo? He packed up, moved to Tokyo in 1871, and got obsessed with shipbuilding. Why? He saw Japanese ships failing and thought Western designs were the answer. In 1878, Shozo founded Kawasaki Tsukiji Shipyard in Tokyo, the seed of what's now Kawasaki Heavy Industries. By 1896, it was Kawasaki Dockyard Koeur, cranking out ships like nobody's business. But Shozo didn't stop there. In 1906, he opened Hyogo Works to build locomotives and freight cars, kicking off a railway boom. This guy was a visionary. His relentless drive turned a shipyard into a conglomerate that today makes everything from planes to industrial robots. And yeah, those iconic Kawasaki motorcycles? Born from the same innovative spirit. Fast forward to now, Kawasaki Heavy Industries is a beast 100 group companies worldwide, tackling land, sea, air, even space. Since 1990, Kawasaki Robotics in the US has been churning out top-tier industrial robots, built to last as factories evolve. They're not just tech nerds, they're human about it. Staff say Kawasaki's the company that picks up the phone and cares about your business. Their mission? Trustworthy solutions for the future, with a focus on remote tech, green energy, and next-gen mobility. Enter the Corleo robot. Okay, picture this. A four-legged robot that looks like a sleek sci-fi horse part motorcycle, part wolf, maybe a hint of deer. Unveiled at Osaka Kansai Expo 2025, the Corleo is Kawasaki's wild vision for off-road adventure. Unlike anything we've seen, it's built to climb mountains, cross streams, and leap over logs. But here's the kicker you ride it. No joysticks, no buttons. You lean forward, shift your weight, and this thing moves like it's reading your mind. Kawasaki just revealed a hydrogen-powered robotic horse you can actually ride. This four-legged marble is futuristic, eco-friendly, and powered by a 150cc hydrogen engine. That generates electricity for its legs making it an emissions-free alternative to traditional off-road vehicles. But what really sets it apart? You steer it by shifting your body. Saddle up for the future of mobility. How's it work? Each of its four legs is independent with rubber hooves split like a goat's for grip on grass, gravel, you name it. These legs have swing arms like a motorcycle's suspension, soaking up shock so you stay steady even on crazy terrain. It's powered by a 150cc hydrogen engine, yep, Hydrogen, super clean, spitting out just water vapor. That engine drives electric motors in the legs, making it silent but strong. Oh, and it's got AI scanning the ground, picking the safest path, keeping you from face planting. The rider experience is unreal. A heads-up display shows your route, hydrogen levels, even your balance like a video game HUD. At night, it projects glowing markers onto the trail, so you're never lost. Stirrups adjust for comfort, and the saddle floats to keep you cozy. Kawasaki says it's about the joy of riding, blending human instinct with machine smarts. They're calling it a personal mobility platform for 2050 Think Less ATV, more trusty steed. Now, before you start saving up, here's the catch. Corleo's a concept. The Expo prototype can stand and pose, but it's not galloping yet, those epic videos are mostly CGI. 
Kawasaki's eyeing 2050 for a real version, so no specs on speed or range. Is it practical? I mean, do we need a robot horse? A real horse doesn't need refueling stations, but it also poops and spooks. Corleo could open up trails no bike could touch, maybe for park rangers, rescuers, or thrill seekers with deep pockets. Shozo Kawasaki built his empire by dreaming big ships, trains, now this. Corleo's not just a robot, it's a nod to his legacy of pushing limits. But let's be real, is this a game changer or a rich person's gadget? Kawasaki has unveiled Corleo, a hydrogen-powered, four-legged robotic vehicle designed for riders at the Osaka Kansai Expo 2025. Corleo's for independent robotic legs enable balanced and stable movement across various surfaces. Each leg operates separately, allowing the robot to traverse rough and uneven terrain with ease. Equipped with a 150cc hydrogen engine, Corleo generates electricity to power its limbs. This clean energy approach positions the robot as an environmentally friendly off-road mobility platform. Drawing inspiration from Kawasaki's motorcycle designs, Corleo features a streamlined body composed of metal and carbon materials. Its front end includes a head-like shield reminiscent of motorcycle aesthetics, complete with built-in lights for visibility in various lighting conditions. Instead of traditional controls, Corleo responds to the rider's body movements. Shifting the center of gravity prompts the robot to adjust its steps accordingly. A heads-up display provides real-time information on hydrogen levels, navigation, and movement stability, including weight distribution. Currently a conceptual model, Corleo lacks detailed technical specifications such as speed, range, or battery life. Kawasaki envisions a potential market release by 2050 but has not provided a definitive development timeline or commercial availability details. I'm torn. It's eco-friendly, badass, and unlike anything else, but $100 says it'll cost a fortune. What do you think? Would you ride a Corleo or stick to two wheels? Drop your take in the comments, smash that like button if this blew your mind, and subscribe for more VL Extras. Catch you next time.